governments around the world have tested nuclear technology in many different ways, like underwater blasts that spawn supermassive tidal waves, or mock towns built in the blast radius. Many nuclear tests still remain classified, but some have been revealed. So it's time to join me while we take a look at the top 15 most incredible nuclear tests and experiments. Number 15, Trinity, United States. The Trinity is generally considered to be the first nuclear device ever detonated, being one of several prototypes to be developed and tested before its more famous siblings were used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In fact, atomic bombs were so unheard of when it was first tested on July 16, 1945, that people in the local area were quite happy to believe that the U.S. Army's story that it was merely an ammunition magazine that had exploded, despite having a yield of around 22 kilotons. They wanted to keep it classified, as World War II was still going on, but these days there's not many alternative explanations they could give if we suddenly saw a mushroom cloud on the horizon. The Trinity test was part of the Manhattan Project and has gone into the history books for being the A-bomb that started the nuclear age. Number 14, The Smiling Buddha, India. Our next entry has another misleading name. After all, the first thing that springs to your mind when you hear the name of Buddha is an image of meditation, inner peace, and enlightenment. But this creation couldn't be further away from peace, let alone the idea of enlightenment. And as you can see, this thing was nothing for anyone to smile about. This was India's very first nuclear bomb and gave Prime Minister Indira Gandhi a huge boost in popularity in 1974 when it was finally completed, although it had been a long time coming. India's nuclear program had existed since 1944, but they only began developing genuine nuclear weapons in 1960. Before that point, the program had existed purely for peaceful purposes, but when this fiery monster was finally detonated at the Pokhran test range, it created a tense situation around India's already tense relationship with its neighbor, Pakistan, who were obviously pretty concerned about this and denounced it completely, as you would if you woke up one morning and saw a mushroom cloud on your doorstep. It was detonated underground, unlike many nuclear tests before it. The strength of the Smiling Buddha was thought to be between 4 and 6 kilotons, with some experts suggesting it could have been as high as 12. Number 13. Castle Bravo, United States Sometimes it's not the explosion or the mushroom cloud that makes nuclear tests stand out, even when they're as powerful as our next entry. It's what comes afterwards that makes them stick around in the human race's collective subconscious. Castle Bravo, for instance, was the strongest of all the United States nuclear bombs, but it wasn't necessarily supposed to be. This 10-ton behemoth was supposed to yield 6 megatons, but when it was detonated near Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands on March 1, 1954, it was discovered that there was a much higher amount of lithium-7 reactions taking place than initially expected, resulting in a much higher yield of 15 megatons and an unexpectedly massive mushroom cloud of 11 kilometers in diameter and 14 kilometers in height. As this obviously hadn't been planned for, there was not only a large amount of unexpected destruction, but inhabited islands to the east of the explosion were exposed to fallout, ultimately leading to a variety of cases of birth deformities and cancer across the region, not to mention traces of radioactive material being detected as far as India, Australia, and Japan. Number 12, the RDS-1, Russia. Yes, this bomb may not have a snappy and memorable sounding name like many of the other entries on our list. In fact, it sounds more like a car registration, but this one has a great deal of historical significance to go along with its massive destructive force. This bomb not only had a huge effect on the environment surrounding it, nuclear weapons have a bad habit of doing that, but also had much more far-reaching effects that had very little to do with its blast radius. You see, being the USSR's very first nuclear weapon, news of the test reverberated around the world and was responsible for the West being on a knife edge during what would turn out to be some of the very worst years of the Cold War. This historical explosion occurred in 1949, on August 29th, after 1,500 animals and 50 aircraft were brought to the test site in order to monitor the effects of both life and military vehicles. And needless to say, the effects were catastrophic. The blast had a yield of around 22 kilotons and was ultimately even more destructive than researchers had planned it to be. We don't know a great deal about this bomb, as similar to a lot of its atomic Russian siblings, the finer details of the test have been kept under wraps ever since, but we do know that it set off a very dark period of the 20th century. Number 11. Operation Hurricane, United Kingdom 
This might sound like the title of a 1980s action movie, maybe featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger rescuing POWs from an active war zone, but this next world-destroying device is 100% British, and nowhere near as entertaining as any of Arnie's 80s classics. In fact, it's so terrifying, it could give Nightmare on Elm Street a run for its money. The USA and the USSR were forerunners when it came to nuclear testing, of course, but even though they worked with the US developing the bombs that would eventually bring World War II to a close, it wasn't until October 3, 1952 that they eventually detonated their very own nuclear device. The test took place on Montebello Islands in northwestern Australia, with the explosion occurring 2.7 meters below the waterline and producing a yield of 25 kilotons. Luckily, there was no human habitation on the Montebello Islands for hundreds of miles downwind, which was a good thing, because four years later the Brits were back again, testing another couple of nuclear devices as part of Operation Mosaic, a project which added the United Kingdom to this ever-growing collection of nuclear powers. Number 10. Jebois Bleu, France this might sound like something you'd ask for in a French cheese shop, but if you did, you'd be in danger of them passing a fully functional nuclear bomb over the counter. On February 13, 1960, France detonated their very first nuclear bomb at the Saharan Military Experiment Center near Algeria, making them the fourth country to develop and test atomic weaponry. And this, ladies and gentlemen, was a big one. With a yield of 70 kilotons, this led to an outcry among several of Algeria's African neighbors, who were quite rightly concerned about the radiation. And when you consider that most disagreements between neighbors usually revolve around parking spaces or dogs doing their business on lawns, then this was a big deal. However, despite Morocco withdrawing its delegates from Paris, Ghana freezing all assets in France, and African intellectuals based in Europe actively protesting it, the French would still use the same site again for exactly the same purpose, before eventually compensating the victims back in 2009. Better late than never, I guess. Number 9. Test Number 219. Russia Possibly the least inventive of the names featured on this list, Test number 219 leaves you in doubt as to what this was and in what order of Russia's nuclear testing program it took place. For instance, if you were planning on watching all the Fast and Furious movies from Fast and Furious 1 to Fast and Furious 9, you wouldn't need to ask the best order to watch them in. There are no clever names needed, just the fastness and the furiousness. It's the same with this bomb. It doesn't need a clever name to stand out from the pack. The air of mystery surrounding it does that for us. You see, even though the test number 219 was one of the largest nuclear bombs ever dropped on December 24, 1962, the USSR were once again extremely secretive about it, and to this day there are no photographs or videos of the explosion. But if we tell you that the blast had a yield of 24.2 megatons, which was enough to incinerate everything within 9.25 square kilometers of the drop site, then we're sure you're more than capable of imagining the footage for yourself. Number 8. Chagai 1, Pakistan. There are many events worth celebrating in life. Birthdays, anniversaries, religious festivals, Halloween, public holidays. But the detonation of a nuclear bomb usually isn't one of them. Nevertheless, Pakistan as a country is still incredibly proud of Chagai 1. And various monuments have even been erected to commemorate the legacy of this weapon of mass destruction. I mean, okay, we get it. Having a nuclear bomb is like being the only kid in school with the latest must-have toy. If you take it to show and tell, then pretty soon everyone's going to want one. So we can't blame Pakistan for wanting to defend itself from the increasingly heavily armed countries surrounding it. Chagai-1 was actually the code name for five simultaneous underground nuclear tests, which took place in Pakistan's Roscoe Hills on May 28, 1988. And these 12 to 20 kiloton shows of strength gave Pakistan a bit of a bad name internationally, leading to economic sanctions from countries such as the US and Japan. Number 7. Project 596, China Remember when we said that test number 219 was the least inventive name for a nuclear bomb on this list? Well, I take it all back. Not since a band decided to call themselves The Band has something been given a more literal label. But even so, this offering from China more than made up for them being slightly behind other parts of the world when it came to nuclear testing. China may have been the junior partner in the Soviet bloc when it came to weapons of mass destruction, but when their first nuclear bomb was deployed on October 16, 1964, as part of their Two Bombs, One Satellite program, it had an impressive yield of 22 kilotons, which was more than enough to keep up with the other instruments of death being constructed in the world. 
Since then, there's always been concern from the US and USSR about China stealing their thunder, and it's no wonder, given that they performed 45 more tests at the same site. Number 6. Operation Crossroads, United States if you did find yourself at a crossroads, with one way leading to nuclear disarmament and the other leading to the complete and utter destruction of all life on Earth, then you'd hope you'd go for the former option rather than the latter. But this was many years before the Cold War, when nuclear bombs were still seen to be very much the next big thing when it came to ending wars in a matter of seconds. Sadly, however, if you lived anywhere near the Marshall Islands in the mid-1940s, then the sight of a mushroom cloud would become about as common as the sight of rain clouds in the United Kingdom, to say nothing of the future effects you might encounter after living in a nuclear testing zone. Operation Crossroads consisted of two particular bombs, the Gilda and the Baker, both with a yield of 23 kilotons, and when you're dealing with that kind of explosive power, the last thing you need is for things to go wrong. Gilda, for example, was dropped 650 meters off course and didn't have the desired effect, although it did manage to decimate about 60% of the hundreds of live animals who'd been placed on the 22 testing ships in the area. Baker, on the other hand, exploded underwater, sinking many of the ships and leaving the surviving ones radioactive, which was a bit of a pain, because the US was hoping to bring all the ships back with them. Whoops. Number 5. The Tsar Bomb, Russia this SAR bomb could equally be called the OMFG bomb, because in terms of size, it's probably the most terrifying device on our entire list, and you only need to look at the mushroom cloud this thing created for proof of that assertion. This horrific creation was not only the largest nuclear weapon ever set off, but also holds the record for the most powerful man-made explosion ever recorded. Ah, mankind, we've been able to produce things like Beethoven's Ninth, Michelangelo's David, and the place of Shakespeare, but we're never really satisfied unless we're murdering each other on an industrial scale. It was dropped on October 17, 1961, and the shockwave produced by the 50 to 58 megaton blast encircled the globe three times, affecting a variety of Scandinavian countries such as Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, who considered the test an act of aggression. The really scary thing about the SAR bomb, however, is that this was a scaled-down version of the original, which would have had a yield of 100 megatons. Truly terrifying. Number 4. Ivy Mike, United States If you're wondering why we've suddenly included boxer Mike Tyson on a list of nuclear tests, then you might want to clean out your ears and eyes and rewind the video slightly. And this here atomic bomb was known as Ivy Mike. Although both of them had dangerously explosive qualities, because this, ladies and gentlemen, was the first thermonuclear weapon, or H-bomb, to ever be detonated on Earth. Once again, this was detonated in the Marshall Islands on November 1, 1952, and produced a yield of 10.4 megatons, which led to many of the surrounding islands being hit with debris and contaminated with radiation. Mind you, unlike many of the bombs on our list whose purpose was only to ever destroy, Ivy Mike was genuinely responsible for a huge step forward in science, as the debris from the blast was used to discover two entirely new elements, Einsteinium and Fermium. So at least something good came out of one of these immense blasts. Number 3. 2017 Nuclear Test, North Korea those of us who remember the drama surrounding North Korea's 2017 nuclear test, and let's be honest, how the hell could you forget it, would probably have a vivid recollection of the leaders of two nuclear powers, President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, basically having a game of chicken with each other while God knows how many lives hung in the balance. The standoff was pretty terrifying in itself, but the nuclear test which kicked it all off wasn't exactly a tiny firework being set off in the park. As ever, North Korea have been characteristically secretive about the test, but we do know that a 6.3 magnitude earthquake was detected by South Korea on September 3, 2017, near an area where North Korea had detonated nuclear weapons in the past, and the blast yield was likely somewhere between 50 to 60 kilotons. Luckily, the dust eventually settled and these two world leaders decided to kiss and make up. Yet, yeah, sorry to leave you with that image. Number 2. Operation Heart Attack, United States Let's be honest, all of the bombs on our list could be described with the name Heart Attack, as that would be the reaction of most of us would expect to suffer if we ever saw a mushroom cloud on the horizon. It could equally have been called Operation Terrified Scream or Operation Lose Control of Your Bodily Functions. 
but either way, this next entry on our list deserves the title as much, if not more, than any of the tests we've mentioned so far. Operation Heart Attack consisted of 35 different nuclear explosions between April and August 1958, as the arms race between the United States and the USSR was well and truly underway by this point. But perhaps the most infamous of these was the Heart Attack Umbrella, an underwater explosion which was detonated in the Marshall Islands. So yes, if you're planning to vacation to the Marshall Islands, then maybe you should rethink those plans. The spray dome reached a height of over 1,500 meters, with its base surge coming in at 3,000 meter downwards and 1,800 meters sideways in all directions, and severely damaging one of the Navy's ships used in the bomb's testing, which armed the USA with the knowledge that underwater blasts created less fallout, while still maintaining the ability to disable vital equipment. Number 1. Operation Desert Rock, United States When it comes to nuclear testing, there's a history of local people being completely disregarded when it comes to the worrying after effects, and Operation Desert Rock is probably the most controversial test of all in this regard. For once, these tests were not conducted on the Marshall Islands, but at the Nevada testing grounds between 1951 and 1957. And the controversial element of these tests is this. They were designed to see how soldiers would react to radiation poisoning. That's right, 50,000 human guinea pigs were used, a large percentage of which ended up having radioactively related health problems later in life. And who had been assured at the time that any radiation poisoning would be very minor? To give you an idea of just how unethical this was, these men would be expected to watch a nuclear explosion and then undergo a series of training exercises to simulate both being on the battlefield before radioactive dust would be supposedly removed from them with a broom. And of course, we all know that there's one way of protecting yourself from radioactive fallout, and it's with a good firm yard brush. Of all the nuclear tests on our list, this is possibly the one with the biggest human cost, and that's without any of them ever being used in warfare. And we can only thank the gods for that. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.